Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another Screencast Online tip video. Today I'll be covering a brand new feature in Obsidian that I am really excited about called Properties. Properties adds a visual way of displaying document level metadata that traditionally required using markup language like YAML. And while this was fine for plain text nerds like me, it wasn't exactly intuitive. So with properties in Obsidian version 1.4, Obsidian gives users the ability to add metadata like creation dates and status checkboxes visually without compromising the plain text foundation Obsidian notes are built on. Think of something like Notion, but for plain text documents. So let's jump in and take a look at what this looks like in Obsidian 1.4. First thing we need to do is make sure that we have Obsidian 1.4 installed. You can do this by going to the gear icon in the lower left, which is how you get to the Obsidian settings and preferences, and then select the About tab from the Options section. Make sure that the app's current version says at least version 1.4. Now you'll also see an option here in my Obsidian to receive insider builds. And that is because I paid for a Catalyst license. A Catalyst license is a one-time cost of 25 US dollars to support the development of the application. By the time you see this video, likely 1.4 will be available to the public. But if you want to be on the cutting edge and try out all the new features, you can do so with a one-time Catalyst license. And you just click the button to upgrade your Catalyst license here. Okay, so once you confirm you have version 1.4 installed, Next, go to the core plugins section. Make sure that properties is toggled on. Once you confirm that properties is enabled, you're ready to start using it. So let's close the settings and take a look at properties. Let's start by creating a new file. And we'll call this properties examples. Okay, so just like before, we create the title of the note, we hit enter and we're taken to the contents of the note. This is where we actually start typing, but there's no properties listed here. And that's because we haven't actually added them yet. There's a couple of ways that we can do that. The first way is by clicking on the three dots in the upper right of the note window and selecting add file property. That adds the properties at the top of our document. And it shows us the three properties that are baked into Obsidian from the start, the aliases, CSS classes, and tags. Out of these three, the one that you're most likely to use is tags. So let's look at that one first. Tags creates a list of any of the tags that are in our Obsidian vault that we may want to apply here. Now I've got several here related to my daily journaling. None of these are ones that I want to use. Let's create some new tags here and we'll just create a tag for properties. To add the tag, hit the Enter key. And let's add a few more tags here, one for Screencasts Online and one for Obsidian. Now let's take a look at some of the custom properties that we can add. And this is really where the magic happens because the properties that we add can use several different formats. So let's click Add Property. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member. 